That shit is real. The funny thing is, I've been we we had a long like break, but I originally met her when she was thirty eight, and I was like twenty two, twenty three. Wow. To this day, she's the biggest age difference that I've ever had that I've ever had sex with. Yeah, I mean, when I was did she turn you out? Is that the reason why you are the way you are? She told me how to eat pussy. Okay. That ass. She told me. She she told me how to eat pussy. That's good. I had an oldest on do that to me too. That's how I learned. Oldest ain't. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna tell you how I learned. How to eat pussy? No. <laughs> not that. <laughs> I taught been, you how to eat pussy. I've been questioning like I didn't have my dick social. Like goddamn bitch, where the fuck did you learn hmm. this shit at? Like yeah. So who taught you? Didn't, you didn't learn this. Who taught you how to porn? eat pussy, Pam? Uh, I don't eat it. I get you never ate pussy before. Exactly. I don't do that. Exactly. Exactly. My motherfucking point. You never ate pussy before, Pam? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I've never done that. Where that Bible at? Put her hand on the Bible. Look, she got nervous. <laughs> she put her hand on the tequila like, oh, well, let me get this out of the way. She got super nervous. No, nah, man. I, I'm interested, man. Where did you learn to suck dick? I taught myself. <laughs> so this is what happened. Like, was it a combination of, like, watching videos and then, like, niggas that you dealt with telling you how no, they like their dick suck? No, it was, like, my first boyfriend ever, like, from high school. And I remember he had this bracelet on his wrist. It was sad. He had a bracelet. And he always had the shit turned inside out. It was like an ID bracelet. So I was like, the fuck is the name inside this fucking bracelet? I thought it was a bitch. So I was like, I'll give you some head if you let me see the, see your bracelet. <laughs> I mean. So um, I did not like. I remember giving this nigga head for like two seconds. And I was like, that shit was trash. I didn't like it. So the whole day I kept thinking about it. Like, yeah, this shit was garbage. If you don't outdo yourself, somebody's going to do it better. So I taught myself. That's a champion. And I was doing that shit for a while. I was about to say, that's, that's an attitude of a winner. <clears throat> yeah. She turned into Hobie Bryant. If you never had a woman who suck your dick because it makes her come, like, yeah. you've never had a real great dick sucking life. That's real. Yeah. Nigga, she turned herself into Hobie Bryant. Hobie. Into who? Hobie. Championship. <laughs> uh, my eardrums. I know, yeah, but no. it was doing that, so I had to get it right. But yeah, yeah, nobody taught me. I taught myself. Yeah, but nah, that look, that little pep talk speech you gave yourself—that's some Kobe shit. But I'll be like, when? <laughs> if nobody, if you don't do it better, the first time I ate pussy, I liked it. I was yeah. like, the first time I ate some pussy, I was like, yeah, like this, this is no, it's yeah. like that, it's like yeah. that video with Shaq when he tasted the wing, mm-hmm. and he was like, ooh, yeah. yeah. Like, how, do, <laughs> how do I get better at this? And she enjoys this. Like, yeah. That I learned, as long as you eat pussy great, like, dick is just a bonus. Facts. I don't even have to fuck you up if I eat your pussy good. Yeah. But it, I want to fuck, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's the crazy thing. I've never been beat for the head. I beat myself for the head. I didn't call her, but like, look. I've beat some people for the no, head. No, I didn't call her, but like, look. No, I just, so, I mean, being I beat for the head. head and your intentions was just to eat the pussy and... It's not the same? It, no. Because beating for the head is, to me, if I'm wrong, correct me. If I'm wrong, correct me. But getting beat for the head is, you call me over, because you the only woman here. So you call me over, you call the nigga over, he come through, he go down, thinking he about to beat. You can get your nut off from the head, and you like, all right, my nigga, have a nice night. Yeah. And he like, whoa, I got dick too. Yeah. And you like, yeah, I'm good. That is definitely beat. Like, I don't want the combo meal. I just wanted the head today. That's, that's get caught up with me. Got me pregnant. Yeah, I can't ever say I Which got beat one? for the head like that. Nigga. That should help. That should oh, so he didn't get he didn't get beat for the head. Though. He, he did. He, he was beat getting beat for the shit for a while, and then it got caught up. I was like, here's the issue. Like, I I think the reason I've never gotten beat for the head is if you eat pussy so well, they want dick. They do want it. Yeah, That's real. For sure. Like, That's true. This, I just ate your pussy amazingly. There's no <laughs> way that you don't want to know what this dick feel like, <laughs> even if you're just one in your mind. Like, wow, is this nigga dick as good as his tongue is? Like, yeah. Even if I do, <laughs> even if you do give some subpar, it, yeah, I can get it and be trash. But <laughs> at the end of the day, you want you, in your mind, you be like, because yeah. this nigga, ain't my and, pussy and you know you gonna beat again <laughs> if you eat pussy good enough. You know you are gonna beat again. Yeah. Wait, so let me ask you, because I've heard a lot of women say that no nigga has both. You don't ever get both. That's true. It's it's rare that 
That's why bitches see. be falling in love with. I gotta stop it. It's shit. rare. It's very Man, rare. Like, you took my line. I was about to say that shit. That's why bitches like. I done had some sex in my life. Because you know we had the conversation that we had earlier yeah. about what happened. You know what I'm saying? So, it, I mean, I guess it all makes sense. Like, you just not. I can tell you, it's been. It. I done had some sex in my life. I'm not going to give you a number. I done had some sex. But I say maybe four. Oh, we don't. Had both. See, here on BYOB, we Niggas don't give don't a fuck both. about body counts. They don't have both. We don't give a fuck about body counts on BYOB. I'm, no, no. Because. No, maybe four. The reason my face was in shock is because, you know, women on the internet just be saying shit. No, nah, that shit is shit, true. Like, I believe you. That is some true shit. About That's wild. Four. And yeah. I had some sex, but I say about four. Niggas done had both. The rest of them is one or the other. Hmm. Dick is good or the head is trash. I'm, now, I, I I'm can admit, highly happy that I can't relate. I can almost relate because I can almost admit to maybe two times where I didn't even want to fuck. Like, it wasn't in my intention. Yeah. But I eat pussy so what that I eat your pussy, so it's going to be great. Yeah. But I really wasn't in the mood to fuck. And it's our first time, so... You might have got some B dick. Yeah. B plus dick. Not that I'm not capable of giving A plus dick. Yeah. You nah, just but didn't kick because that wasn't and my then, move. I mean, to keep it 100, sometimes, like. You got hit with the gummy worm. <laughs> the half hard oh, shit. Not the gummy. You got to hit with the gummy. <laughs> I didn't I didn't, I didn't hit a few. I didn't hit a few <laughs> jumps with, with the gummy, gummy worm. worm. I didn't hit a few jumps with the, with the like semi. That jet dick. not all the way. <laughs> <laughs> with the semi gummy. Yeah. I hate that because then you got to try to stuff it. That's how I feel every now, time. So, That's how I used to feel every time I put a condom on. So like, now, nah, so what if you, you want me to put a condom on, you're getting a gummy worm. So the best way to do I it, put my balls in that you shit gotta too. Grab like, the, <laughs> you gotta grab the base and squeeze it. So the top will be like like hard. Right. <laughs> you better yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the nigga try to put his dick and balls in. Oh man. Cause that's no. what it is when I put a condom on. Like you gotta get all this because you can get half dick at this point. Yeah, nah. You gotta just grab it by the base by the balls and squeeze it so the, the top part at least be hard enough to get in. And then you just oh, you gotta that's too much. you gotta hold it. <laughs> it's, too much. Too much. it's too much. It's too. It is. But no, I mean, but at the same time, like, all right, I'm gonna give y'all tips. So there's there's some involved. joints that you don't you don't give every joint the the your best performance. True. Some joints you just you just want to get your nut and you got to go. Yeah. yeah. So you're not you're not worried about giving them the best performance and none of that shit. It's not so, about you. Yeah. <laughs> it's about me today. So I can understand it. So I mean, sometimes the the. The, the whack shit you get, might, you might be that that one time that the nigga wasn't trying to give his best performance. Mm. It happens. It, it happens. But I, I mean, I'm not saying you personally, yo. I'm just saying in experiences to the to the women that you spoke of. The reason why I say give second chances is because I think I might have told this story before. Child's mother, we're great, love her to death. Um, we ended up in a nine year relationship, and the first time that we had sex, that shit did not go well on my part. Yeah. It didn't. So I had to tell her, like, I realized, like, looked in her face and was like, hey, this ain't this ain't me. Like, I know what I'm capable of. Call me tomorrow. <laughs> like, call me tomorrow, and we, we let us let me make this up to you on some G shit, because I know this ain't me. And she took that risk, and she called me the next day, and it worked out. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, because I know what I'm capable of. I had got drunk the night before. I was real fucked up. It was just, it was a lot. Gotcha. So, but that's why I always give people second chances. See, I don't. Because first I'm, time, first time you're nervous. Like Michael you can Payne. get anticipation. Like you've been waiting to get in that pussy. Like that thing Damn look right. good. Like it's, it's a you know you know sex is mental. Yeah. To me, so, if you brag about it, it is, and it's mental to the it's point. A, it's it's mental to the point <clears throat> where nigga, that nut might not even come if you ain't mentally there yeah. enough. I guess I'm saying for me, if it's some trash, like I've had some trash. This nigga bragged. And brag, and brag, and this nigga said it was so good. His baby mama was, or not baby mama. His girl was like taking his license plate off his car, taking his car keys and shit, yeah, like keeping him in the crib. I'm like, damn, just to, she I'm might like, have just been. I was like, this is CTE. about to be some <laughs> good dick, and it was trash. And I was like, my nigga, this was trash. But we gotta and stop that narrative too, though, because some women are just naturally like fucked up in the head. Like, yeah. it ain't always because of what a nigga do or. Whatever the case. No, he e- said this was even, the sex, even like. on the flip side. Like, I mean, of course, that's Dang. if you know. I would say the same shit, but that don't mean that's what what it really is. That was trash. I I kind of agree to this mental, but I can't say that I've met a woman that I haven't been able to make come. Like, there's a difference between a woman coming and having a full blown orgasm. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So. Maybe not a full blown orgasm, but I can't say there's not a woman that I haven't been able to make come and not a woman that's right. ever said that shit to me. Even in that mad anger argument shit, like yeah. I've never gotten that nigga you don't fuck with like 
So I can't say it's all mental. I don't. Maybe I don't. I don't know. I guess everybody's different. Yeah. There are some crazy bitches in the world. There are some of us. Truth. Um, are we on music? No. <laughs> nah, we on. You on pussy? No. <laughs> Sex is nah, real life, man. And a lot of people hate to talk about sex. I love it. They don't like. That's what. That's a problem. Cause I've done the survey. No, they know. act like it's re- they act like it's a taboo shit. But everybody fucks. Everybody has sex. Every like it's even like, nuns is out here. They not supposed to be, but they fucking. When I did a poll of people like of oh, just what you want to hear podcasts about, is people just don't talk enough about sex. Yeah, it's because not real with their own sexual experiences. Like they like to hide a lot of shit. Like, fortunately, you got me and Pam. And I didn't yeah, right. yeah, and I don't give a shit. I, at this no. point in my life, I'm old. I've done what I've done. I've lived my life, so I'll tell you what I've done because I've yeah. done it. Like, and that's the and that's if the it thing. Ain't, it's not yeah. for everybody. If you don't like what I out. like, then you don't like what I like. Yeah, cool. that, it's my like a lot of that shit, shit, shit I've done in the past. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not necessarily that I would do this shit today, but I've done it, so I yeah. understand why people do it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and not even to get sentimental. Like, that's why I picked the cast that I picked. Because before I even started this podcast. Who is the first person I hit? Who me? It definitely was you. I know. It was she knew it was man. fucking her. Like, because I was like, yo, I'm thinking about starting a podcast. What do you think? And she was like, you should do it. You have a real nice viewpoint on shit. I was like, yo, yeah, that's cool, but I need a co host. Well, you should get somebody that's Pam. I'm fucking talking about you, my yeah. nigga. Like, like, me? Yes, your nasty ass. Come yeah. get on here. That shit is annoying you? No. Uh, oh. it is, but you gonna hand it to me? <laughs> oh, yeah, I am. It's my kid. But yeah. I figured it might be something important. No, she just bored. Yeah, she bored. And she missed me. Yeah, because she done seen your face. This is what the fuck I got to deal with now. <laughs> she love me. That's why. If y'all don't know, me and Pam have a daughter together. You better stop playing. She look like you while you playing. <laughs> For facts. <laughs> she really does. She's my she's my adopted daughter. I'm not biologically hers, but you know what I mean, that's my baby. Dre, if you want to have a baby, I, I'll talk. I consider having another one. <laughs> Dre, Dre is overdue. Yeah, it's about time. Let's keep she it at that. Babies neither. Dre is an overdue. Mm-hmm. No. Dre, I give you a baby. <laughs> Dre is overdue. My kids come out cute too. Yeah, we make cute kids in my family too. I say kid because I only have one. But I got three. Thank you. I consider having one more for you. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga threw the Barry White on. Hey, baby. That's, that's why I jumped on the podcast. So that's why I jumped on the podcast. <laughs> I thought Pam was going to be here. I fig- First I of all, I'm, I'm the wild one. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I thought Pam was going to be here. So uh, I just figured she was going to bring some entourage in, in the form of her sister. I was I was walking around one day at work. And lady was like, you have a nice voice. You do a podcast. And I was like, all right, well, bitch. Like, I heard it. I just didn't. Like, I... And then you hit me. I was like, oh, yeah, we can do this shit. I say what the fuck I want to say. Like to nah, the crazy shit it. is, this and nigga was just, no, the, the crazy shit, right? So this nigga was just supposed to be a guest one episode. Not <laughs> real. <laughs> this nigga just showed up the next week I, like, like yo. What's up? We doing this again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, B. I ain't even hit the nigga. No, he just showed up the next week. I like, don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, yeah. He was like, yo, what time you shooting? I was like, yo, I'm shooting at such and such. He was like, back, because I got to come holler said, at somebody. I got to holler at somebody for something else. And just, I did. <laughs> I randomly just jumped in the shit. You're right. In your fact. area. And he was That's like, yo. Right. That's a fact. Just so happened to, you know what I mean, come in the back room where we were shooting at yeah, and, and sit down at the fucking, <laughs> at the mic and just didn't leave. And the rest is history. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, shit, he's the reason we went viral. The theory, I've, the theory I've never life been is do what you want to do. Hey, look. I think I told y'all this last week, but I y'all not gonna keep saying. I've been viral on every fucking social media. Every time, every when time. When I seen so, that post, I was like, "Y'all that not, time? y'all not gonna keep so saying we've been, be viral we've without been this podcast viral going." As far as just shit that surrounds us, at least three times. He's been viral himself at least six you times. Just talk so much shit, yo! I don't even. People on social media love to hate me. <laughs> if you love to hate me, follow me on Twitter at ayo eighty proof. That's a y o the number eighty proof. Cause I talk a lot of shit on there. Yeah. Uh, you can't get access to my Facebook because I realized after I went viral on Facebook that there are a lot of weirdos on Facebook. Yeah, yo, Facebook yeah. is like I, I used to think Twitter weirdo. was bad, but I Facebook realized, is where the weirdos are. Yeah, at. I realized Twitter ain't weirdos. Them niggas is just niggas that's just wild. Yeah, wild. 
Facebook is, is just weird. Is, is really weirdo, yeah. motherfucker. I went viral on Facebook and I've been getting friend requests for the past three weeks. <laughs> Dead ass. Yeah, Facebook. Yeah, Dead them ass. motherfuckers is different. Like y'all can't just watch the video that I posted and just not go. Like, <laughs> yeah. So um, let's let's go ahead and get into the to the main topic. Threesomes. Yay. So everything about threesomes, etiquette, uh, the, the right way to do it, the wrong way to do it, it's all obviously motherfucking preferational. So preferential, which one is it? I don't know. I'm not. You using these big ass? You think you Ti? <laughs> Y'all never seen that interview with the no. with the young rapper nigga? The nigga as he said, um, he was like, yeah, something you drop uh, album simultaneously. He was like simultaneously. What that word I didn't see that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what that word mean? What you think you T.I.? Using these big ass words? It keeps getting more <laughs> real. What the fuck? This nigga Kyle got a fucking ghost in the house. What the Yo. fuck? There's been, some, there's, been some, there's been some souls snatched in the house. <laughs> <laughs> and the souls remain in these walls. Wow. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I know I'm gonna get a phone call right after this podcast. Like, so what are I you doing tonight? Sage. Yeah. <laughs> I burned the sage with the windows closed. I'm the problem. <laughs> oh Lord. So yeah, so threesomes, threesome etiquette. I don't um, I don't have threesome etiquette. There's some rules. Like I think it should be a group thing. Or it I mean, should be like a couple a things. I mean not saying group. that, but I'm saying as far as picking the woman, I think the woman should pick the other one. That usually it usually goes best that way. Yeah. Yeah. In my experiences, I've always gone best be. that way. And then because the be. nigga's just gonna pick another chick that he just he's been wanting to hit. Yeah. He just, he just, but a female, she's probably gonna pick somebody who's really down with the threesome shit, who's probably just as nasty as the other two. Yeah. You know what I'm saying like it's it's gonna be right. Nothing the woman should always pick. Condoms I, should be worn. Every threesome I've ever had. Oh. Was the girl. Like, either she picked her or it just, like, she came with her and it just happened to. I, my role, I would have to pick her. Like I said, it usually works better that way. I don't really have, this nigga's got windows going off in my ear. My that shit was mad loud. Um, I don't really have threesome etiquette because I just feel like I'm filthy. So once we get in there, it's no holes bar. Everybody gets everything. Yeah, so that's yeah. your etiquette. Yeah. Like, <laughs> your etiquette is no I'm etiquette. not selfish. I don't yeah. show favoritism. But like, you should, though. You should show the favoritism? The extra should. Nah, she's so not going to get everything if that you the start showing, If you start show, see, but but that's why I'm saying with the etiquette. So it's like, all right, some people feel like they don't want to have threesomes with their girls. Some people only want to have threesomes with their girls. No, we fucking together. That's. That's it. And then, all right, so are you picking a stranger or are you picking, like... No, we picking a stranger. We're not picking somebody that we know because we don't need no attachments. After we fuck, you got to go. You want to Uber or Lyft? Yep. Because you know. I know most people... Well, I ain't going to say most. I know a lot of people who, like, they threesome was with, like, they best, like her best friend. Fuck no, because that means it's some hidden shit. If you down to be like, yes, I do want to fuck you. You want my nigga or what? Nah. But you know what? I know some women who, like, that's just what they, her and her best friend do. Like... They fucking niggas together, uh, and they're okay with it. No, she got an Instagram. Mind your business, B. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, let us get a stranger. I know them for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm> just, <laughs> <laughs> she got an Instagram, but no, like if that's, I don't know. No, I want a stranger. No attachments. We don't need to. I've seen if you're in a relationship, I can see why you wouldn't want why you would want a stranger. Yeah. with no attachments, that makes sense if you're in a relationship. But if you're just yeah. single and you out here having fun, fucking difference does it make? Yeah. Like as it long doesn't, as it, and that's why I say you shouldn't be, you shouldn't show favoritism in situations like that where you're, where you're not in a relationship. You just out here having fun. So where y'all draw the line at? What line? Because I seen, I seen this shit. This um, this one dude, he has twin sisters, mm-hmm. and they both, they're both pregnant. Mm-hmm. Are they both having babies? So you, you seen yeah. that shit? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know a nigga. I didn't see it. I know a nigga in real life. I know mm-hmm. a nigga in real, real life that got yeah. Baby so by yeah. So we we know the same nigga. Um, <laughs> there's not too many things out here. Uh, but then they like what? I don't think he's a hell of a rapper too. Worn, what? He he's, 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 one of, he's, he's one of the nicest niggas out here, rap wise. It's definitely not a lie for facts. I don't want my nigga putting his mouth on her or eating her body. That's not a And wearing a condom. Thing. Yes, it is. That's We're not, not gonna fuck her who? again. She. That's it. He came with his mouth on her. Oh, you got rules. That's not etiquette. That's rules. So, all right, so if he not eating the pussy, are you? No. 
So what is she there? Just like literally. We like, just nah. using her <laughs> for what? what we need her for. Nah. What the fuck do we need her for? I'm using the rubber. Can't eat the pussy. You not eating. You the want pussy. to? I'm just saying. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You, I mean, if, he, if it's yeah, a threesome. Yeah, yes. Yes. If it's a threesome. If you feel comfortable enough to bring, if and, yeah. I, and I let you choose her. If you yeah. feel comfortable mm-hmm. enough to bring her into our bedroom, oh, all no, those I things. I never had no, no complaints. <laughs> so you know what's gonna happen with that situation? What's gonna happen is she's gonna try to fuck this nigga behind your back now. What? That's yeah. I can't. I can't have rules in my threesomes. We, we, Especially if that shit is halfway decent. She, cause she, she want. She's gonna want to know what the whole shit is like. On Unf- the flip, the, un, the unfiltered version. So you gotta get somebody that. that On the flip side of that, I can say I've never had a threesome while I was in a relationship. Like I never had a threesome with my girlfriend. All my threesomes have just been. I had a threesome. So if it was your with your girlfriend, you would. I still don't think there should be rules. Like especially if I let you. You know what's fucked up? Like if I pick the woman, I can see why you would have all those rules. But if I let you go out and choose a woman, I feel like anything should go. Yeah. The fucked up thing is I had a threesome while I was in a relationship. How'd that happen? How'd it work out? Oh, my girl don't know. But. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god. (laughs) Glad you said it. No. I'm bullshitting, I'm bullshitting. Glad he said it. I'm bullshit. She was waiting on my conscience. <laughs> wow. I don't know. I'm not going to say... I don't know. You just don't want to give them everything. You want it to be fun. No complaints. But you don't plan on seeing them again. But that's why you can give them everything. Because you're not planning on seeing them again. Yeah. Like, that's the... You fuck their life up and get yeah, them. Yeah, like... You snatch they so You also have never had a one night stand. So when I have a one yeah, night stand, yeah, when I have a one night, like, yeah. I'm going, you might get everything on one night. Yeah, I've never had one. We both in Miami for the weekend. We decided to link up and get together for one night. You might get everything in Miami that one night because I'm never going to see you again. Yeah. Maybe if I had But I want, you to, I want you to be back home in California and be like, yeah, that nigga fuck the shit out of me Memorial Weekend. <laughs> see, I've Miami. never had like, that. So maybe that's why. But I've never also had a boring threesome, so I can't really. So the person that I I actually asked that question to somebody, mm-hmm. uh, and her response was, like you said, favoritism was actually a bad thing in her eyes. Yeah, it, I mean it is. It depends, but if I'm your main, I should be getting. But that's everything. not. Both everybody should get everything, because then the person has the the person that's the extra person gonna be like, what am I here for? Like I'm just. Y'all are really just using me. This isn't a yeah, threesome. Y'all really, just using me. Yeah, I'm really yeah. just using you, though. That's what I want you for. So, and that's what she said. Don't be selfish towards the other woman. No, I'm not saying being selfish because you're not about to give her everything No, that's she selfish. He can't eat I'm the pussy. I'm selfish yeah. as fuck, which is probably why. He can't eat the pussy. And that's what she said. Some people get in their feelings. <laughs> I don't get in my feelings. That sounds like he can If he feelings. start eating the pussy, I, you look like you, I think you'll like start fighting both of them. Nah, nah. Oh, you're going to leave. You're going to do one of the two. See what no, I'm saying? Like, no, I'm not, not gonna say that. No, you're supposed to encourage him, like, because I know you. So if he eating her pussy, you're supposed to be like, babe, put your tongue in her ass. Too. Now, if he's not yeah. my nigga, I will say it probably will be different. No, but that's what I'm saying. It's got to be a nigga. Like, if you have a threesome, it should be the same. You should turn into the like the female Wesley Pipe. You, you should be, yeah, you should be looking at me like, babe, I know you got your tongue in her pussy, but put your tongue in her ass too, like like you would do to me. Mm, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. See? Maybe I think I'm past the threesome stage. Like, I'm selfish. You do get past it. <coughs> As a nigga, you never get past it. Women get past it. I think I'm stage. past As it. As a man, you typically don't. If you're not a bisexual woman, you probably get past it. Yeah. But it's as a nigga, man. like... Pam eats poo-poo. No, I do not. She eats the la poo I do not. And that's so gross. I do not. <laughs> yeah, I could be 45 and my wife can be like... Look, baby, I want to have a threesome. Be like, that, when I get married, I'm probably gonna be all right, cool. More of a freak when I'm married, but bring her in. still gonna be some some rules to my shit. Yeah. So you're not gonna eat the La Puntiana? No. Well, where do you get these names from? Yeah, it's so gross. It just sounds so nasty. <laughs> this guy. Where do you get these names from? So there's no rules. The la should, pusa, I don't. I don't have la any pu- rules. La Pusalita. Like, what I do to one, I do to the other. No, I need to be special. You sucking like, toes on the threesome? Yeah. Even the strange toes? My nigga. This nigga don't even eat ass. Don't dab him up. My nigga. Don't oh, even yeah, eat you, booty. Yeah, you do need to grow up. <laughs> back. You wild child for that shit. Uh, you're right. I take my dad back. You're right. Yeah, you don't even eat you ass. You gotta eat ass, B. You need some ass. I don't gotta eat ass. 
Maybe if I get married or some shit, I don't know. Maybe we get married. Get a battery die. Nah. Things Did will it? happen. That's what it said. I mean, I see a red battery. She's with batteries, man. Mm-hmm. Like it's about to. <laughs> Yeah, sure. that shit probably did, but that one's still rolling. Unfortunately, we, we got mad so. angles, B. <laughs> we, we here with the shits. We got mad angles. With them angles. Don't try to change the subject about you not eating ass. Yeah, you need to grow up. I would never. You never, never grow up? No, I would never change the subject about me eating ass. Mm. You're tripping. I don't understand why you eat. Nigga, it's 2020. You need to do that. I mean. Put your tongue in the butthole. <laughs> when that's, how, that's how filthy I am. I don't even want you to call it an ass. <laughs> I want your butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Just do it. I mean, you know, when it has to happen, it has to happen. It should have been happened. It should have been happened. If it has to happen, it has to happen. If it has to, it's like, it should be something you want to happen. I ain't put my tongue in a butthole in a long time, and I'm it's almost depressing. It should be. We working on that one. I mean, cool. it is what it is. You know. Let me take what we got. I'm depressed. <laughs> like, I really haven't eaten ass in a long time, and I'm, it kind of makes me sad. You like chicks to do it to you? <laughs> so I, I've had it done. Was I mad at it? No, no. I wasn't at all. Is it something that I'm gonna ask you to do? No, no. But you're not gonna tell them no. But I'm not gonna. Yeah, I've, I've never. Like if that's what you do, like, cause I like what they like refers the gooch. Yeah, like up it's under called balls, the nacho. The nacho they. Nacho. They call it a lot of things. Balls. So. Niggas, us it's men, we call it the gooch. And, yeah. It's well, gooch. it's not the asshole and it's not the balls. It's the nacho. Yeah. It's in the, just don't call my shit a tank. I'm I don't like, care. I, I just, white people call it a tank. <laughs> like, don't call like, my shit a call tank. Don't call my shit a motherfucking tank. Yeah, I call so. it the nacho. <laughs> okay. I know some people call it a tank for real. So, at the end of the day, like, I enjoy that shit. Like, if you're going to get my balls, you might as well get up under there, too. Facts. I shave under there for a reason. Like, I know what I like done. Hey, be real. I know what I like done. So, go ahead and get up under there. <laughs> if you just so happen to be under there, you'd be like, you know what? I'm going to eat this nigga. <laughs> I'm not going to elbow you in the head for it. Yeah. And you know what's so funny? You know how many niggas like, I don't like this shit. I, not one nigga that I know that's had that happen to them on accident or whatever like, yeah. has said, stop. I almost, it, fu- like, I almost yeah. fought a bitch. I didn't like it. No, nigga, you liked it. Shut the fuck up. Again, when she like be it. like, what, do you, what turns you on sexually? Like, I'm not going to be like, you eating my ass. Like, yeah. That's not on my list. <laughs> right. But if, if that's how your spirit felt to move you that I don't night. Know, do man. it. Hey, B. I've had worse things happen. No, I haven't. I was going. Uh, I was like, no, I Whoa, hold the fuck on. <laughs> you know, it was one of those statements that you almost just throw it as a regular statement. I was like, wait, no, no, you haven't. No. <laughs> I don't know what's much worse than that. You're going to say, my nigga, the only way to yeah, go yeah, is yeah, yeah. that is downhill from there. <laughs> it's all bad from there, B. So I have not had worse things happen in life. It's probably the worst thing that I've had happen to me in life. And so it was. <laughs> No, there are the worst <laughs> things in life. You just be shot every day, B. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you eat ass? Yeah, I know you eat ass. I don't even know what I'm asking you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm fucking asking you. <laughs> I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I don't think so either. As the nigga who's, who's had it done, I can't say there's anything wrong with it. I think some It's about how you do it. It's a masculine way I to get I'm not. Some. I feel like a prude. I thought I was a nasty nigga. No, you're not. I, I am. I spit, I, just, I spit mouths and everything. Oh, I do all that shit. That's I'm one with, thing I haven't like gotten into. The I'm with all that. Thing. I, I, I spit in mouth. Real good. The choke truck is the best. Yeah, part. I spit in the mouth. I spit in the butt. Stick my thumb in there. You I spit do all in that the butt, shit. but you don't yeah. lick it. Okay. You right there. I'm not you right stick there. Stick your tongue out. Cause Here. it's a it's a, it's a difference. You you spit and you let it you let the spit drip and you take the. So you see that booty hole and you don't be like, yo, I want to lick this. You just. Here's what I hate. Don't like you. Li- like, and it's not that I hate it, because I don't necessarily need to fuck every woman in the ass. However, if I lick your ass, I feel like I should be able to stick my dick in there, too. It's just me. Who said no? Somebody said no? A lot of women ain't into that ain't no shit these days. That's because niggas be trying to ram it in there. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it, do, it do take it, some experience. Yeah. And, and some Astro Glass. No, women, women not really for that shit, yo. Some are, some are. We should get the sponsorship from Astro Girl Live from that one episode. People talk that shit until you pull out bondage kits and shit. Like, all right, bitch, I'm tired of that shit. You into that? Yes, I am. You a um, a dom or a sub? Both. I like it. What it are you depends. more? I think I'm more like the dom. Do you like to beat motherfuckers and shit? I won't beat them, but I like to be around. 
So I'm saying you like you you re- rough, look, he's reevaluating his life. Like, do I really want to go down this road? Like I think like, I want to <laughs> me like a house, and I need me like a room. Yep. Whips and chains and all that shit. Somebody called me Christian Gray the other day. I almost took offense, and I was like, "Well, no, I guess you, I was like, I guess you're kind of right." Yeah, so like, would you let me <laughs> tie rope to your nipples and then slam it in the door? Why would you do that? They would that that's just that's the kind of shit they do. That's no. extreme. Yeah, that that sounds that like shit's, that's what they do. That's extreme. Yeah, I don't want that. BDSM is a different type of lifestyle. Yeah, it is. And no, it's it for is. everybody. Yeah. But like that real BDSM, they sign contracts and all types of things. Yeah, some wild got shit. safe words. I'm not that wild. I haven't. Yeah, but I heard sometimes wild, like, like that safe word shit don't matter. Like I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep going. Like fuck your safe word. What? Do you, what this you is what you to? wanted. Like, what do yeah, you mean? Like me? No, I shit. said this is what I've heard have, has happened. Yeah, who told you this? Like <laughs> what type of people are you talking to? Wow. <laughs> That's real rough. You need to. <laughs> I need to re- reevaluate my circle. Yeah. <laughs> I need- yeah. Wow. Yeah. Why? Well, I am a Pam. You might not want to go down that road. Yeah. You might be this. Oh no. <laughs> you might start down the road. Yeah. That, that was some shit. You don't know nothing. Shit. About. <laughs> 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 he told you ain't no safe words. It's mm, like what shit. the fuck? <laughs> Life you That's the wildest shit I ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no, no safe what words. Man. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> 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 Nah, but I heard the the, the illest way to torture. You, you hear a lot of <laughs> shit. The illest way to torture. Nah, you, yeah, like, no. That's a wild ass statement to start off with. Let me finish. Yeah. Let me finish the show. No, I don't want you to finish. <laughs> so they said the illest way to actually torture a sub is to not do nothing to him. I'm sure. I mean, no, because I because you know they so they anticipating it. That's what they really really into. So they was like, yo, the the, the worst torture right. for them is to literally not do nothing to him at all. All right, so let's bring this back to some real life shit. Right. Yeah, that's that's what I was trying to. All right. Yeah. So on that token, 